Bringing home the math, a program for parents and preschoolers. Lesson six, measurement. How long? How tall? How much does it weigh? Preschoolers are excited to study measurement, cooking up all kinds of math learning in tasty and creative ways. So small, medium, and large. Today, in the final part of NJN's six-part series, Bringing Home the Math, we'll take a look at measurement. We'll show you how three, four, and five-year-olds are measuring up in preschool and how to support your child's learning by having fun with math at home. How do they taste? Delicious. And what's inside the box? What better place to practice measurement than the kitchen? Two tablespoon, high five. This beautiful, fully equipped kitchen classroom is in Edmund Himaleski Junior Early Childhood Center in Perth Amboy. It's a wonderful place for young chefs to get hands-on experience with measuring and more. Every recipe you have, there's something to measure. There's sizes of spoons, there's how many forks you need when you set the table. Um, so the kitchen is basically the most natural place to find math concepts for the children. While whipping up pancakes and cupcakes. I like putting the batter inside. Children learn there are standard units for measuring, like tablespoons and cups. They practice following a recipe and its step-by-step -step directions, counting along the way. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. The goal is to learn while having fun, not culinary perfection. You know, so they make a mess here or there. It, 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 that's how they learn. I mean, that's how their parents learn to cook. Somewhere along the line, they had to learn how to crack an egg. They had to learn how to count how many eggs went into the batter. They had to learn how to follow steps and directions. One, two. Measuring also can be done using non-standard units like paper inchworms. At Bradley Elementary School in Asbury Park, these preschoolers are excited to measure the length of a tail. So the robin's tail is how many inchworms long? Three. Three. This is learning at its best. The lessons are engaging and concrete. And almost to 11. Wow. They enjoy the excitement of, of when things are large or really tiny. It's mysterious to them, exciting. So this is an opportunity to pull, you know, to make math fun and you know, to give them that foundation that they're gonna carry on to the higher grades. As a consultant for NJN, early childhood math expert Barbrina Ertl has designed some simple downloadable activities parents can do at home with their children to practice measuring. Measurement is one of the more abstract ideas that these children are going to work with, but there are definitely ways that we can help parents work with them in appropriate ways so that they are getting experience using measurement and preparing them for later building on that with more formal standardized units of measurement. Wow, great job. When it comes to measurement, you can help your child measure with standard devices like rulers, cups, and scales, and non-standard units like paper clips or straws. Compare objects and talk about small, medium, and large, or shorter and taller while lining up objects by size. Talk about time in terms of morning, afternoon, and night, and yesterday, today, and tomorrow while looking at a calendar. You can even start working with money, for instance, comparing the value of various coins. There are tons of creative ways to engage your child with measurement. Just remember to keep your lessons concrete and fun. They have that inquiry in them. They want to learn, so just expose them is, is the easiest thing to do. And then they start picking up, and then you could just expand. 
there is no end to what you can expand to. So many children get up to second or third grade or beyond and they hate math. And we really need to change the way that we're teaching math and dealing with math with young children where this whole fear is beginning because children start life loving math and enjoying math and we need to change things so that they can continue to enjoy math and that math can be a valuable part of their lives. It was fun. Browse NJN's Bringing Home the Math website to find activities, literature lists, and other resources about how to help your young child learn more about measurement. Funding for NJN's Bringing Home the Math program for parents and preschoolers has been provided by Bank of America.